Welcome back, I'm Drone Tech, and if you watched my video yesterday, you know that the Democrat media is denying that they ever denied election results, rioted after an election that they lost, or claimed that a Republican president was ever illegitimate. This is squarely a Republican issue, they said. If Donald Trump runs again, runs again. if Donald Trump wins in 2024, you think Democrats are going <laughs> to think he was legitimately elected? you got to be kidding me. There's no precedent for that. I mean, this is purely in the Republican camp. I'm not going to go over all that again, but if you want, just check out yesterday's video when you're done here. But during yesterday's video, I said that if Democrats lose in 2022 and 2024, they're going to claim the elections were stolen. Well, that brings us to yesterday where MSNBC has proven me right and is already concocting conspiracies to explain away what looks like devastating losses coming in 2022 and 2024. But I do want to caution you all from thinking that this is set in stone. In politics, a lot can happen in two weeks, much less 10 months. We're all looking not just to the past, not just to a year ago, Phil. We're looking to the future. We're looking to 2022 and, and also to 2024, where there are serious concerns among a lot of um, political experts, a lot of national security experts, a lot of journalists. You got that? Experts said so. Who are those experts? Shut up, racist. The next election won't be fair, and that the person who loses the election might be the one who becomes the president-elect. <laughs> Take note, this is how you do gaslighting. They are so damn predictable. If Democrats lose, it's because the election was unfair and the Republicans stole it. But if Republicans say that about the 2020 election, well, they're violent insurrectionists, domestic white supremacist terrorists who want to kill democracy. How is what they're doing in this segment right now not lowering confidence in election integrity? which they call an attack on democracy. Yet she's straight up claiming that if Democrats lose the elections in 2022 or 2024, then it's because the elections were unfair and Republicans stole it. Just like they want people thinking that the only legitimate protest or activism is advancing a Democrat party agenda and the only legitimate scandal is one involving their political opponents, they also want people believing that the only legitimate election is one that Democrats win. Now that the right is playing the same game, they say it's destroying democracy. Well, if that's that's true, then they're the ones who destroyed it. Oh, and by the way, the time to prepare for bad times is during good times. If you know a big storm is coming, you prepare in advance. The same goes for our nation's future. That's why I recommend stocking up on emergency food from My Patriot Supply. And right now, you can save $50 on a four-week emergency food kit. This kit provides breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. Every family in America should have one of these. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $50 on your four week food kit. What is the White House doing about this? I mean, I texted a senior official the other day and they didn't even get back to me. Are, are, can they do anything? It's almost like they want Biden to take some sort of dictatorial power or use his presidential powers to create a system where only Democrats will be in power. Because if their opponents win, then democracy and even the earth is doomed. This is exactly why I've always said that Democrats and the left are particularly dangerous because they seem capable of rationalizing anything in pursuit of their goals. Well, they're limited, Katie, in what they can do. Uh, President Biden campaigned on restoring and protecting democracy. He said that would be a hallmark of his presidency. And, uh, you know, clearly uh, the administration would like voting rights to pass. Uh, in the Congress in the coming weeks. This is how this guy talks about Biden passing voting rights, as if we're back in the 1960s. Who doesn't have voting rights besides kids and felons? I swear, every time I ask somebody this on Twitter, I never receive a response. All this voting rights bill does is make these COVID voting rules, which came about out of nowhere right before the 2020 election, permanent. I honestly think that these people want your average Democrat or non-political person thinking that democracy literally means democracy. Democrats in charge, always. Is there anything being gamed out for 2024? If X happens, we're gonna do Y. If there is another violent insurrection with millions of people or thousands of people, if there are more armed people who try to forcefully take over state, state houses, etc., is there a, a contingency plan being sorted for 2024? <laughs> a contingency plan? You mean like that insurance plan that you all executed after Trump won in an attempt to undo the election results because Hillary Clinton didn't win? 
democracy. I cannot believe how openly they discuss their plans to subvert the election if it doesn't go their way, providing a pre-planned justification that left-wingers can use to rationalize to themselves why it's different when they're doing it. They're doing it right now as they sit there pretending to be journalists when by any measure, they're clearly Democrat political operatives discussing political strategies to keep Democrats in power. Who would sponsor such obviously damaging propaganda being unleashed on this country? Well, I'm glad you asked because this MSNBC segment was sponsored by CarShield and Aleve. If you spend your money on these companies, stop it. They hate you and the United States. Why spend money on people who are essentially domestic enemies? That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment on your way out.